Hey, this is KSP with Tape, and you join me once again on the launch pad with fucking Heavy. And today I am doing another rocket race, as I'm now calling them, because they're fun as hell. Um, so I'm racing the Falcon Heavy against the Ariane 5 rocket, um, which, well, you'll see that in a bit. Um, but we're... They're going to be racing to get a your, well, a Rockamax tank into a 90 kilometer orbit. Although the Ariane 5 isn't carrying the stock Rockamax tank, it's carrying something very similar that comes in the mod pack because it makes putting the fairings on much easier. And I think it might be a tiny little bit heavier, but um, but it should be fairly unbiased. But anyway, um, I have been uh, messing around trying to get a shuttle. Um, but that's not working out that well actually um, because I downloaded a mod and for some reason when I build the shuttle or use the shuttle supplied in the mod it won't put it on the launch pad it just crashes and is kind of a dick about it anyway um, yeah in, I've already done one of these and uploaded it to my channel I raced the Soyuz against the Falcon 9 yeah it was the Falcon 9 which is well another Falcon rocket like the Falcon Heavy um, but and not a heavy lifter, because this is the race of the heavy lifters today. And the Falcon 9 claimed the prize and um, and won the challenge. So now Ariane steps up to try and beat SpaceX, or Kerbex as you can see on the side of the rocket. Um, the Kerbex is the mod developer, SpaceX is the real life company who makes these rockets. Um, the Falcon Heavy is a faster rocket off the launch, and generally, because it has more base power, but um, when it breaks off the boosters, it has less power than when the Ariane 5 breaks off the boosters. And I have to be slightly fuel efficient, because it burns fuel like a... well, uh, it burns fuel very fast. And the Ariane 5 has a much more powerful engine for in, uh, for in vacuum, whereas this has only the Falcon 9 one, because they haven't made a Falcon Heavy one for the mod pack yet, which is a little annoying. But anyway, I think I have been rambling long enough. Um, I think that is everything. So I will just lock SAS um, right there, throttle up, and just, yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, now we're taking off really fast. You can see I'm already up going crazy fast and dropping the throttle already because I have to conserve fuel and don't want to be fighting air pressure with this. And this is asparagus staging, but the fuel gauges at the side, as you can see, they don't go down they all go down at the same time because if I leave it it'll burn it'll all three engines will keep burning even when the side tanks run out because it's not made for that so I have to watch the fuel and then drop them we're already at um, 4.5 and I should be kind of starting my gravity turn there we go um, and I'm already burning down most of that fuel in the side stages that usually gets me up to about 10,000 and then I'm left with what's effectively a fully fueled Falcon 9 at about 10,000 kilometers and then I'm going to make a gravity turn about now because um, well I've dropped the boosters but it's still bringing it under control that looks fine and my speakers are getting a lot of interference I'm just going to switch them off um, because that's annoying and I don't need sound because it'll be recorded without the speakers anyway we're doing the gravity turn um, throttle down a tiny bit but uh, yeah I loved, um, this is still the old mod, I mean it still works fine in this, they may have made a new one and put Falcon Heavy in it, I haven't even checked, maybe I should, because <laughs> this is my mock-up of it, but it's effectively the same minus the, I mean, minus the orbital stage, but it's fine, it's still pretty fast. Um, so we've already got a 50,000 meter color, uh, yeah, 50,000 meter apogee, and it's already at 60,000 in the time I've said that, and we're only not even at 1 minute 40, so it's looking pretty good. And there we go, the apogee is out of atmosphere. I'm going to push it up to about 85 so that I have some leeway um, when I'm actually making my 90k orbit. Right, there we are. I am just going to kind of control my ship to a place where it can, um, where it can circularize quite easily. But it's quite hard because this is a behemoth and I'm using the small amount of RCS I brought. I only brought 50 litres, one of those new small tanks, and four thrusters. And it's a pro body, so bringing this under control is hellish, to put it lightly. Um, but it's all right. I mean, the new SAS system and gyros that makes it quite easy. But uh, but I probably should have put some more RCS on this. I think there's more RCS in the Ariane Five actually. That's just because it was kind of stock. Anyway, I'm burning already. Just trying to circularize right um, really quickly, so I have a lot of time on my. Um, orbital on my on my vacuum engine because uh, then I can just 
burn more efficiently even though I'll be drifting at the target. And I'm only burning part of my engine because I want to be kind of quite high up. Because, well, if I'm below 90,000, my perigee isn't going to get to 90,000, so um, that's rising relatively slowly. But that should be fine. I'm trying to keep this kind of efficient, but it's getting near 90,000, so that should be fine. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much fuel I have. It makes it hard to tell exactly how much fuel I can use when I've got the Rockamax in the payload. And I'm not going to be using the Rockamax tank for burning. I won't need to. Anyway, let's just burn off the rest of that fuel, ditch that, activate the engine, and ditch the fairings, I think. Uh, where am I? In 91,000? Yeah. Should be fine. Well, this is, this is actually post-com, because it was going to be live-com, but I've said in almost all of my videos about my software, but I have almost got it fixed, <laughs> he says. Anyway, I believe I ditched the fairings. Now, there you go, flying at the screen. And you can see the tank with a pro body and some RCS on the side. Well, no, on the top, even. And I'm burning lightly, because I want to be properly burning at above 90,000. But I'm already approaching four minutes, and I c it would be nice to get it under five minutes, um, in all my other launches, I haven't quite got it under five minutes because I have done a few launches with uh, the Falcon Heavy before, and I do some test launches before these um, episodes because I've got to know that it can do it. Um, ooh, and I am actually working on using MechJab to fly rockets simultaneously. Like, I it's difficult because of switching, but I'm looking at mods trying to see if I could because I want to at some point race MechJab. Um, me or like me flying racing mech jab and it would be awesome if I could get mech jab to autopilot and just race simultaneously I don't know that might be completely impossible but um, if you know of anything and you feel like commenting please like post something in the description anyway description a comment I don't know anyway we're burning I'll stop talking about future plans and focus on the now I'm coming up to Apple apps and I'm pulling slightly off the horizon to counteract my um, well to stop me going over my Apple apps and we have got a lot of fuel, but uh, not that much power. And now it's starting to, the Apple app's starting to move away from us, so I can get closer to the uh, horizon. And we're coming up to five minutes. It looks like I am going to be doing this in over five minutes. Hopefully, the Ariane 5, well, I'm pretty unbiased, so, um, I, you know, hopefully the Ariane 5 can hold a candle to this. Or, I don't know. Anyway, we're getting very close to orbital velocity, which I believe is around 22 hundred meters a second. And yeah, there we go, it's coming out the other side. Actually at ninety thousand it'll be slightly more, I think. Slightly less. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. It uh, pff, it'll be fine. Um anyway, there we go. Fifty thousand, sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eighty thousand, uh, ninety thousand perigee five twenty six. Let's call that five yeah, five twenty six. I have done it faster before actually. Um I think I've done it in like 514 or something, but that's the one that counts. Yeah, we'll call it 526, and then we'll go to the Space Center and load up Ariane 5. Um, Ariane 5 does use solid rocket boosters um, on the side, so it does burn straight out of the main stage rather than anything else. Anyway, uh, this is the one I've moved a bit. There's one above it that came with the pack, but that's got a heavier payload, so that'd be unfair, as you can see. Um, Anyway, let's just put this on the launch. Oh, and this doesn't have my tape gaming flag, as you may have seen, because, uh, well, this is my Area 51 save. I don't actually have a save for rocket races yet, because I only decided to make it a series shortly after my last one, because it's so much fun. But I've taken on, like, quite a lot of series right now. So, you know, I'm doing a populating the solar system, which if you haven't seen, uh, please go see it. I don't think that got with that many views, but it should be fun. I intend to land um, a thing on e a full rocket on EVE to take off. But anyway, there you go, full on um, engine. That engine has 2700 kilonewtons of thrust. Each booster has 800 kilonewtons of thrust. Um, it's looking pretty good, so I'll just lock the SAS. That should, it's pretty stable, I think. Throttle up, and um, I suppose just go for it now. Um, yeah, it's much slower off the launch, as you can see, but it won't burn through fuel as fast. And those are slow-burning solid rocket boosters, but they're still pretty powerful. And yeah, we're all... it's, it's not slow. I mean, we're up to 50 meters a second. But we'll... and it has lots of little things, like 
um, all the stages are pulled away by solid uh, by little tiny um, solid rocket boosters, um, which makes transitions quicker. And to pull the main stage away from the um, vacuum stage, the solid rocket boosters are on the vacuum stage, so that I don't waste that power. Oh, it's 850 kilonewtons on the boosters, but I don't waste the power of the little boosters. So it has all these little tweaks that might give it a slight edge. And I am now in the stream of the solid rocket. Now uh, that's you can see all the little specks. I mean, solid rocket boosters burn. Well, obviously solid fuel, but you know, I'll stop the gravity turn. But they uh, they burn lots of little. Um, it's like a not a, like I suppose granules would be the best way to um, describe it. And they uh, they're ignited and thrown out. So if you get that on your parachute, you don't abort, you die. Anyway, we're running pretty low on the solid rocket boosters. Um, carry a lot of solid fuel. This does take a lot more fuel than the Falcon Heavy. Uh, bring up my nav ball. It's so 11,000 apple apps. I'm going to burn. I'm going to do my gravity turn a little late because I want altitude, and this doesn't have so much speed. But it's going pretty fast now. And um, there's a slight overheat on the main engine, but I think that should be fine. Um, uh, tipping over fully now, and I've, the rocket boosters are almost out. And there isn't that much fuel left in the main stage. They burn out relatively close to each other. And I'm not sure it'll get me entirely out of the atmosphere. I don't think it does usually. You see those are being pulled away by the solid rocket boosters. And there goes a car past my house. It, my window is open. It's quite warm, so I'm sorry if there's loads of background noise. But I'll blank it out with my voice. Okay, 32,000. That's looking pretty good. And yeah, I've got something else in orbit there. That's my uh, plan for EVE. Anyway, I've just attached that, and you can see the solid rocket boosters helping me, not the stage I've ditched, which will just slam into Earth. And that has, I think, 1,200 kilonewtons of thrust, that engine right there. So that's pretty good. And that's going to push us out of the atmosphere and then circularize and stuff. And we're only at two, we're not even at 2.30, so it's looking all right. I think that's a little slower than Falcon Heavy, but it should be fine because I have a massive power engine right now. And so quite a lot of fuel, not entirely, sh well, what's um, uh, the fuel on my readout minus 1,440 liters because that's in the payload. Actually, no, it might be a tiny bit more because it's not a rocket max tank. Well, I have some fuel, is what. Okay. We're burning, and uh, I think because that main stage didn't actually get us out of atmosphere, I think that's where it loses most time. Yeah, that, mm, it's circularizing quite a lot now. So it's uh, already at circularization, but that's only at 67,000. 16 or 70. Um, I think I'm going to get it up to about 85 again because, but now it's moving much faster. But I'm already at 3 minute 20. A little worried about the how long this is taking. That's 80. Let's say uh, about 84. Leave it close to there, about 85. Just kind of. I'll keep burning. There you go. That's that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to be kind of a little tenacious with this because. It'll take me 1 minute 40 to get to Apple Apps, and I'm already at 3 minute 40, so if I did that, I'd lose, so I've got to be a little tenacious. I like that word, and that'll be my word of the day. I don't have words of the day, but uh, but if I did, that would be my word of the day. Anywho, it looks like um, well, I'm trying to make a decision on, I've got to warp up a bit, or I won't make 90,000. But I am out of Atmo, so I should uh, stop burning now, just kind of burning upwards a bit as well, so that I gain altitude, because that's what I need right now. We're already at 4.30, and Falcon Heavy was doing pretty well by now. So it might, ew, I don't know, but it's still powerful, and it's still, uh, still much, uh, much more power in this, and probably can move much faster in space, so um, I'm not completely discounting this yet. It's uh, got some aces up its sleeve, but I, well, I've got to walk past 90,000 now, that's uh, that's a given. And uh, 84,000, oh, this is painful, just having to do nothing for so long. That's getting close. I'm going to just start burning now, because, uh, well, I have to, or I mean, I'll lose, and oh, we're already at 5 minutes, 15 seconds. It's not looking good for Ariane 5, it's not looking good at all. But we're above 90, I can just max it right now, try and, try and absolutely, ah, 525, 526, and it's already lost, it's, it has failed to conquer the wrath of the Falcon Heavy, 
but I am going to let it complete its thing rather than just letting it smash into earth for its failure but it won't be a very nice burn it'll just be kind of it'll be uh, well not it'll be an, no it won't be a very nice orbit is what I meant to say and that's out of Atmo and 81, 83, 84, 85 doesn't look like it's going much higher than that uh, it is uh it has failed to defeat the Falcon Heavy so SpaceX is still in the lead of everything it is king of the world right now well king of Kerbin so let's see if anything else can defeat it in another episode but anyway I'll um, take a look at this I mean there goes the fairings I was taking this nice payload into orbit and it has a little thing on top it's mm, kind of a thing that came pretty much entirely in the mod pack and this is, well, it was originally for a fuel supply thing. Anyway, so, um, to conclude, the Falcon Heavy got to a 90 kilometer orbit much faster, and this still has a little fuel, but it, um, but the Ariane 5 failed to, uh, failed to deliver, um, it went much slower, it, uh, what am I, what am, what am I intending to say? Yeah, it went much slower, it, um, it had more fuel, it had solid rocket boosters, but uh and and the orbit is in much uh in much worse stead than uh the fucking heavy. I mean the periaps isn't at ninety isn't even at ninety thousand. So that is a clear victory for the Falcon Heavy. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be doing more rocket races in the future. Hopefully um more balanced and less Kerbex and SpaceX um ho well hopefully just uh someone will be able to decrown Kerbex um, and the Falcon rockets. Maybe I'll plan them in the future, or maybe I'll simultaneously race Mechjev. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you like the video, please like the video, drop a comment if you want. Um, if you want to see more of this, populating the solar system, um, prison architect, or maybe playthroughs of something like Portal or Half Life, I just got the orange box, or maybe other games, um, please subscribe. Um, this has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.